Hi, Scott here. I'm in my studio. And I have fabricated something using old parts from some of the other projects. These two coils you may recognize. I didn't feel like unwinding them. This is a simple DC motor with a rotor made out of wood so I could fabricate some bearings and get a commutator big enough without a bunch of fancy chemicals. This is a one inch copper coupling literally screwed to the wood and then as you can see two windings connected and then the bearing is nothing more than a <laughs> hole and a point. So without further ado I've got one 12 volt battery connected up right now that I'll show you that this thing works really slow if I want to by adjusting this rheostat. 12 volts will make it, I don't even think that's probably one volt. But that's how slow this thing can go. You can see it turn. And this is magnetic, lightly, till I increase. Everything on this motor is wired in series so that when the juice goes around the rheostat through the poles in the outer, it also has to go through the commutator before it goes back. That way everything's controlled. All right, so here goes the RPM test with just a 12 volt battery. It's only wood, so I want to hold the top. All right, well that's full 12 volts. So, I have run it with 24 full speed and watch it go. However, I'll slide this all the way down. And even with that all the way imparting all that resistance, this thing will still spin. Or at least it did before. It's kind of cold now, so maybe it's... No, actually it spins... See, it spins faster than the... 12 volt one will let it go down to. All right, so here we go. Full speed. And that's 24 volts. And since it's a piece of wood, I don't want to vibrate it to death. I know, it looks like a giant top when we were kids. See if I can change the batteries quick enough. Yeah, I gotta oil it. And there you go. My wooden bearings are wearing out. Plus, we got to get it to science class. Probably with a Mack truck, but anyway. That's all I got. I thought I'd put that up. Just simple little motor for basically demonstration of commutator segments and reverse polarity as it goes by. These two are fixed north and south, and as it goes by, it changes like any typical DC motor. Whoops, should pick right up, no, nope. there's a concept in motor theory called 
line of commutation and it's due to the momentum and the time it takes to get around the corner basically it's not always directly in the field in the line of the field it's slightly offset like this instead of right with the it's I forget which way it would be but anyway there's my little motor over and out Ta-da!